Keep those These coming. are terrific. Yeah, uh, terrific. Really Kim good. Kim Cummings, uh, Radcliffe Don McConey, uh, BBC.co.uk, 64046, or tweet Stuart McConey if you like. Did you have a nickname, Raisa? <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I was young, no, I do actually have one. I have one, rice. Rice. Okay, yeah. which we've established today. Did you know that it's very, very dangerous to microwave rice? Is it? If yeah, you've apparently. had a takeaway what? and you get it the yeah. next day and you eat it, then the, the curry or the Chinese is fine, but to, to microwave rice is, is fraught with health fraught problems. With peril, yeah. Mm. yeah. I should have died by now then. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> well, shouldn't okay. we all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, lovely to talk to you. How's Glasgow today? It's looking very nice, very sunny up here. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. You yeah. were in Manchester last night, weren't you? Yeah, we were. Manchester was really, really good. Was it? Yeah. How yeah. did it go? It went well, I think. The crowd is really amazing. They kind of, they're really warm. They really listened, very yeah. attentive. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we really, really enjoyed Manchester. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Quite so, sad I, to leave, actually. Right, okay. So, you, <laughs> and, and you're playing later on in Glasgow? Yeah. yeah, we're playing tonight in okay. Glasgow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, Rice is here with uh, the Mummers and uh, the single Fade Away, which we've been playing, and uh, well, just sort of, it's just a wonderful record to get lost in, especially on a sunny afternoon. Uh, mm. let, let's remind ourselves of the joys of uh, Fade Away, and then we'll talk lots more to Rice. Uh, simply glorious, the mummers and fade away from the current mini album Mink Hollow Row. Rice uh, joins us from uh, Glasgow, um, and uh, the fade, I mean, it's a, it's a Todd Rundgren song. Yes, that's right. Uh, and so, uh, is it right you didn't you didn't know it, but you you heard it on the radio when you were in a sort of flying yeah. trip to the states? Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't know much about Todd Rundgren, but um, I was on a cab in, in Miami on the way to meet this American hip hop label who wanted to sign us, and it was kind of. 
sort of a bit of a weird, sort of weird surreal situation yeah. and the song came on the radio and it was so sort of out there and different and all the harmonies and stuff and I just thought sort of fitted with our kind of you yeah. know with what was going on and I just thought it would be to a totally perfect mama's kind of thing to, to, to cover. The thing is though that although you can hear Todd Rungan in there when I I mean I didn't know it was a Todd Rungan song the first few times we played that on the radio race and mm. you, your version makes it sound very definitely British. Do you yeah, know, do well you we want we wanted to do something completely different with it and, and sort of turn it into this sort of mama's fanfare mm. and put our stamp on it mm. and make it really uplifting and kind of, you know, this kind of really sort of glistening sound. It's, it, it, it's yeah. tapped right into the times because a lot of people, have, a couple of people said to me, is it connected to Brian Cox and the Mistress of the Universe? Because he's been mm. going 100 million billion stars and yeah. all that. And it's sort of like, you know, with 100 yeah. million, it sort of seems to tie into that, which has been the big TV oh, yeah. show this year. We, we planned that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Brian's a keyboard player, I thought, you know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> tell, tell us about, I'm intrigued about your Treehouse Studio hub. Tell us about yeah. that. That must be, health and safety must take a dim <laughs> view of that. It was good. <laughs> yeah, we, sort, we nearly killed ourselves quite a few times in the rain. Yeah. Sort of clambering up and down. But um, it, no, it was just a really nice, vibey place where we recorded our first album, Tell to Tell. Mm. And... Um, it had lots of lovely key old instruments, keyboards and harm harmoniums and percussion instruments from sort of around the world. Is it a proper and, uh, tree house? Yeah, right. it was a proper it was a proper tree house, but it was sort of tacked also on onto the onto the back of um, Mark's house. Mm -hmm. So right. you could, um, but you had to sort of go up this big wooden ladder to get to it. For people so. who don't know, then tell us who the mummers are. Well, we go out as a sort of ni a nine-piece band. Mm -hmm. right. um, Everyone plays on the record, and in fact, there are more musicians than we can have live on the record. Yeah. Otherwise, there'd be about 20 of us on the stage. Um, but the core started out as three of us, me and my collaborators, Paul Sandroni and Mark Hallwood. Mm. Um, and, um, and that's where we sort of started it all off in the treehouse, and we gathered together as many musicians as we could find in Brighton and recorded them all there. Um, and then, um, unfortunately, we lost uh, Mark, and yeah. then... So we had to take a break, and we he, he took his own life, didn't he? He did. He yeah, did. yeah. Um, and um, so that was a big trauma, and that of course. Um, to, took quite a while to get over. I'm sure. Um, and then we decided that we had, we really needed to carry on, and yeah. and it's good having a big band because it, everyone, you know, it's yeah. it's kind of comforting. Uh, why? So, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> sorry, why? Why, <laughs> why did you use the, um, when the, the, when you hear the name the Mummers? The first thing you expect is a full on sort of like trad folky sort of thing, really. Mm. So so what was it about that name or the, or the concept of I, Mummers that drew you? It was. I just quite like the sort of theatrical element to the yeah. name, and because um, the mummers in medieval evil times were door-to-door -door actors, yeah. mm. and um, we're a sort of disparate kind of group of random people, and um, it just seems to sort of fit. You know, we sort of, you know, everyone comes from different places, and it just. You know, I don't know. I just like the sort of idea of a procession of mummers-style people. Yeah, right. is, th is is theatre and theatricality an important element of what you do? I think so. Um, we sort of take a lot from Showtime and musicals, uh, sort of MGM musicals of the hmm. 50s, um, and um, try and recreate some, uh, you know, those kind of big orchestral sounds. And then, you know, visually, we kind of like to sort of, you know, play about with various kind of, yeah. you know, identities. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Really. It's, it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Because I was—I think um, you know—we played record and, and sort of remember playing solo records of yours under your own name that would kind of go mm. back to. Um, uh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I think that was. I think I remember <laughs> playing you. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Unfortunately, at the same time I was playing you on our breakfast show, listeners were deserting in droves, which oh, is, so, we, so we probably <laughs> didn't do you much favours, really. It's as, as, as it probably because of me. I doubt it. But uh, so you—you—you you, 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 you kind of had a stab at, 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 as being a solo artist before the mummers um yeah it was, we sort of it started out that way and um and you know we were we were sort of signed up on a, lab, a label quite early on yeah and um but I, I i wasn't really ready i don't think at the time and it was kind of a sort of experiment yeah um that we sort of um you know that we we sort of put ourselves through and i think we were just kind of we didn't have the vi the vision of the mummers that we have now yeah so um you know, it was good. It was a, it was a good experience, but um, I'm glad that um, it's we've now been able to do this and create this and have the time to do it. Yeah, no, it's, it, it seems to be good. Well, so, what's the what's the origin of your name, Raisa Khan Pani? Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's Asian Russian. 
Wow. It means daughter of the king, but well, unfortunately yeah. there's no royalty in my family. <laughs> there must have been at one time, though, maybe. May, well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and the, the album's called Mink Hollow Road, and, and Todd Rungren is Hermit of Mink Hollow. Mm. Mink Hollow's near Woodstock. Yeah. Have, you been, have you been there? No, but I've seen pictures, and yeah. funnily enough, the, the, the countryside around there, with the sort of tall pine trees and the forests, looks very like the, the treehouse countryside where we recorded. So that sort of seemed to fit. Right, yeah. Um, but also, like, I like the idea that Todd Rundgren was a kind of hermit. He sort of he was a hermit mm. while he made the hermit mink, mink hollow, and we mm. were sort of, at the time we were cocooned as well, away from yeah. the world, and yeah. it was just yeah. We didn't really, really pick up. We didn't really pick up on it at the time, and, and we'll not go into it much now. But th I love the idea that you were in Miami when you heard that record. That, I know uh, it was it, just on bizarre. Your, on your way to meet the Wu Tang Clan's record yeah. label. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't well, seem like a natural the, fit, but there I know you go. But that's what but people say. But they they liked our orchestral remixes that wow. we do. You see, because okay. they're sort of you know. It, it suits the hip-hop way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, great. So, no, it's, it's, it's marvellous. Yeah. It's just not the most obvious thing. So, <laughs> um, so you, you, you're you playing tonight in Glasgow. Um, yeah. And, uh, you, you, well, you can catch you all over. Well, the, the, the rest of this month you're in various places, aren't you? And, oh, actually, after Glasgow, you go to King's College in London, yeah? In London, yeah, and that's the end of it. And yeah. that's the end. But there's a, the, Mink Hollow Road is a mini album, but there is an expanded, there's a, there's a proper album fairly soon isn't there yes which we're working on on now okay okay so. and how do you like being on the road with all, with, with all the gang is there is there anything in particular that you've been doing like guy garvey was playing this uh, what was that 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 app of birds that he was playing guy, angry birds angry birds what do you um, what, what do you find yourself spending a lot of time doing on the tour uh, is, there, is there a kind I of i don't know we we spend a lot of time doing nothing yeah it's just like i mean we sort of there's so many of us crammed in this tiny van and all the gears kind of practically on our heads <laughs> right. we're all we're trying to sort of stop it falling about and yeah. it's kind of it's just it's chaotic really but kind of i don't really know how the time passes but it sort of seems to you need yeah. to get a but van for the gear and a van for you that's the next that's what step. we need yeah, that's yeah. What we need. next yeah. time next time <laughs> uh, well listen it's great to, it's, it's great to talk to you and we have been enjoying the record so yeah. much but uh, oh, and, yeah, and we asked you to uh, to pick something uh, a singer or a record or a song oh, that's yeah. particularly influenced you in some way so so what have you chosen and why um, well, Ricky Lee Jones has always been my favourite singer, right. and I just used to copy her, try and copy her vocal style when I was when I was younger, and try and get the way she does all those high notes and does the things with the mic. So, her first album, which is my favourite, mm. Ricky Lee Jones. Um, you've got those two songs, my favourite, which is um, Saturday Afternoon '63 and Chucky's in Love. So. Yeah. Any one of those will do. Okay. There's record of those. I just forgot the title. Is it one called something like Flying Cowboys? or? Uh, oh, um, I think there is one. Which yeah. is glorious. I must dig that out. I haven't heard it for ages. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, we'll Pirates too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Pirates Yeah, okay. Right, well, we'll play Ricky Lee Jones, Chucky's in Love, and uh, and uh, okay. we hope to catch up with you again sometime soon. Thanks for having me. Bye. Thanks, Tracy. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.